What's going on, beautiful folks? Welcome to another episode of Mornings with Lee Hammock, your favorite self-aware narcissist, me. Um, <laughs> today's episode is going to be about how narcissists handle stress. Why, why are narcissists so bad at handling stress? Let's keep it hot. Let's keep it hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. Y'all you know, know we always got to say that. Little Caesars, if y'all are watching this, what I keep, I got people buying your pizza. I know people hear this and like, I ain't had Little Caesars in years. Thanks, Lee. And they go buy a Little Caesars pizza. Hot and ready, five to seven dollars, wherever you are. Um, but yes, y'all, narcissistic people and stress, toxic narcissists and stress. Stress is a killer for narcissists, y'all. Not just not a physical killer, but it is a mental, emotional killer for narcissists. It can also be a progress killer for narcissists, right? Because stress brings about yo so stress can defeat a narcissist. Is like it's one of those things that makes narcissistic people, a lot of us revert back to our old previous behaviors right because the old previous behaviors serve us in some way shape or form right so as a narcissist that you know i i have a lot of stress in my life it's easy for me when i get stressed or when i'm under some type of stress to fall back into my previous behaviors so even if a narcissist is doing work on themselves even if a narcissist has you know doing well for themselves and like making some behavioral alterations, going to therapy, you know, reading books, whatever it is, going to church more and actually putting it into work, being honest with the Lord and whatnot. Even if they are doing that, it does not mean like the, the stress can knock them off the knock, knock them off the path. Any type of stress, any type of stress, any type of stress. It really doesn't depend on it really doesn't matter the type of stress. Like a large amount of stress a, a large amount just stress applied to the narcissistic person oh how i'm gonna pay the rent this month oh um I, i'm about to get caught cheating you see what i'm saying it could be some stuff that they bought about themselves like definitely like if they were if they asking the question like how I'm, I, i'm about to get caught cheating or something like that that's a stressor they bought about themselves like that type of stuff can make them act out of make them act truly act out of character it can make them lose their damn minds like the stress of being exposed and whatnot can really truly destroy a narcissist. That's why you see when you are threatening to expose a narcissist or when you actually do expose one, that's why you see a lot of times they are losing their damn minds even before. Like if you threaten to stress them, that's why I tell me, threaten to stress them. And this is what I tell people. Like if you're going to expose a narcissist, of course, always use discretion, but you that might, you might not want to give them a, you might not want to give them um, a heads up because once you give them a heads up, they, go under stress and they start imagining all these different types of scenarios that could happen. Right. They start imagining them losing their job or losing their wife or losing their kids or whatever. All this stuff starts running through their heads and then they could act out of character. Like a lot of times you see stress make toxic, narcissistic, psychopathic people become family annihilators. You know, I'm about to get caught. My wife is, you know, like like Chris Watts, for instance. Y'all know Chris Watts is probably a, you know, definitely narcissistic at minimum, uh, maybe sociopathic, you know, psychopathic, right? Chris Watts, y'all know who Chris Watts is. He's the person that unalived his pregnant wife and his two two baby girls because you know she was pregnant and he wanted he was having an affair. It was about to leave her. And he didn't want to have another baby. From what I know, what I heard, um, what I read. So he, I don't think he planned on unaliving her until she found out he found out she was pregnant and he was having this affair she's like oh i already got two kids and she's pregnant with a third i'm like now i'm stressed go back and watch chris watts video his his um you know, past his wife you know his late wife um posted when she announced that she was pregnant watch his video watch his face he's seen he was he's like oh goodness gracious it seemed like something in him snap when she told him that she was pregnant with a third child and they were already the relationship was already on the rocks so yeah, he was losing his damn mind, and then he took her, went and took matters into his own hands and took her out of here, quote unquote. You know, unalived her, took her life and whatnot. That's what he decided to do. That's what he felt felt was necessary in that moment in time because he was stressed and didn't know how to act. Like maybe his affair partner wouldn't wouldn't want to be with him if he had three kids. She already knew he had two, but now you had three. You got one on the way, so he snapped. Stress made him snap. The fear of exposure made him snap because it looks bad to everybody for leaving your pregnant wife or a, a young person that you maybe worked with or met on the work site or something like that, whatever whatever the case may be. Stress can make narcissists become extremely dangerous people.
especially the stress of not their life being upended. You know, this is why, I like, look, if you expose them, of course, expose them. I, I can't tell you what to do, but always be careful and use discretion because stress, it, it can, it really can destroy it. It can bring them down like stress <clears throat> and they don't handle it like narcissistic people don't handle stress well it's not going it's not going to make every narcissist a family annihilator or a killer right um but stress absolutely can make it, it can make them become horrible people to you right it because they don't know how to release stress they don't know how to relieve stress they don't know how to get rid of the stress they don't know how to manage their stress well and so it comes out as anger towards their family and friends it comes out to as anger towards their coworkers or their, you know, sub, their sub subordinates on the work uh, on a job site or in the office or something like that. It comes out as stress against the students if they're a teacher, you know. I mean, not stress. It comes out as anger towards the students, vitriol, vitriol towards the, their own kids. You see what I'm saying? And this is the type of stuff that happens. They don't know how to mitigate their own stress, so they absolutely handle it in a horrible, horrible damn way, horrible way. They handle stress horribly. And when they're handling this stress horribly, it like I said, it just sets them up to look to look silly and to feel silly, and they just hate it, you know. That's why I just like I got so I got a lot on my mind, you know. And this is why I tell narcissists, even the narcissists I'll be talking to y'all. I do one on ones. I do talk. <clears throat> I talked to a lot of narcissistic people over the last few years, right? Even them, I tell them like you have to find a way to relieve that stress. You have to find a way to release the stress that you're going through because if you don't. You're just going to take it out on your on your your family. You just are like you if you have a job that you do not like and you feel like you're not where you want to be. And that's caused you a lot of stress. Like I'm, I'm working at this job that I really don't want to be at. I'm super stressed out. I don't have the life that I see. I don't have the life that I actually want. So I'm going crazy. I'm super stressed. I'm super like, I'm, I'm being stretched super thin. I don't know what to do. They go home and take it out on their, on their family. And like you have to learn, you have to find a way to decompress. You have to find a way to let it out. You know, meditate, pray, go to therapy. You say therapy for me, I have a therapy appointment tomorrow. Therapy for me has become stress release. You know, it, it become a stress release type of thing for me. Like I've been in therapy so long, it's allowed me to learn how to relieve my stress and not take it out on my family and friends. I still don't handle stress the best way. Um, because it makes me shut down a lot of times, but I'm handling handling it a lot better than what I used to. I handle stress a lot better than what I used to. I promise you I do. But most narcissists won't get to this point because they don't know they don't understand it. And I know what y'all are gonna say, the survivors who are watching this, like, well, Lee, how do we get them? Can we put it in front of their eyes and tell them that, that we how they needed to release the stress, they need to get a lot of the stress out of their life? They're going to blame you for the stress. <laughs> They're gonna blame you for the stress. If I was single, I wouldn't have to do this. If I didn't have kids, I wouldn't have to do that. I wouldn't have to worry about it. The only thing I would have to worry about is myself. I'm not going to worry about a wife or a husband and kids. Like, so you're bringing the stress into my life. Like, you make my life harder. So they're going to blame you. You offer them, most times, if you offer them a way to release their stress, they're going to blame you for bringing the stress into their life. You know, even if they the stress is from uh, them having an affair on you or cheating on you, and they, they them not wanting you to find out somehow that affair is also your fault. You see what I'm saying? Somehow that affair is on you. Somehow that affair is like I said, somehow whatever they do to step outside the marriage or you know, them yelling and screaming at you, that's your fault because they don't know how to handle their own stress. They're using they're doing narcissistic rage, having narcissistic rage episodes on you because they themselves don't know how to handle their stress. And because they don't know how to handle the stress, they're just taking it out on you. They're taking it out on the kids. It's, it can be, it's an unhappy ass, it's, a, it's an unhappy ass household when you have a stressed narcissist around because their energy, the stressed narcissist throws the entire energy of the, the house off. And you can feel it. This is why I tell people, they become stressed, you become stressed. You know, it's like, it's like stress from a narcissist, it's damn near contagious. It's like a contagious, it's like a contagious bacteria. It's like, because they are stressed. They make you stressed, and now you're walking on eggshells in the house. Now you're feeling weird in the house. Now you don't feel comfortable in the house. You have a lot of stuff going on, and you just don't feel like yourself. This is the type of stuff that happens. Like narcissistic people, toxic people are going to keep doing this type of stuff because they don't understand how to release the stress. They don't know how to relieve it. They don't know what to do with it. And that's why I tell that's why I tell so many people they're like dealing with a narcissist, dealing with an abusive person. These type these type of things are going to continuously happen 
over and over and over again because that does is how the mind this is how the mind of a narcissist works they're going to keep doing the same things over and over and over again because at the end of the day this type of stuff serves them it does it does this type of stuff does absolutely serve them in some way shape or form and they a lot of them do enjoy it you know let's keep it hot and ready like a little caesar pizza little caesars where you at you know anyway y'all thank you all for tuning into this episode another morning episode with me i love how uh, i'm so thankful y'all get up with me and grind with me in the morning y'all know i'll get up i'll be tired i'll be like uh gotta do it anyway you gotta do it anyway even if i'm not at home i might be in the office recording the video um i'm gonna be in dc this weekend for my workshop if y'all check the moment check out the workshop on 9 14 in dc you can go to mentalhealness.net slash events <clears throat> anyway y'all make sure you hit this hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hear my voice um and as always mental illness is out Peace. thank you so much for making it to the end of my video i am extremely grateful for you have no idea if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist there's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through thank you so much again i will see you in the next video peace